Right, we are back. Uh, today, we're going to have a little play around. We're using Let's Resin 1 1. We're using 26 ink set. And what we're going to do um, is have a play around with some black backgrounds. So, what we do is we do our ink dropping as normal, um, then we do our stir after around about an hour and then after the stir we're going with the black now what i want ideally is to be able to buy the black on its own so hopefully <laughs> i can sweet talk let's resin into selling the black because this gives us a really nice let me show you this was from a previous tutorial um gives a really nice kind of pops the the colors that we're using um had some really good results i'm not going to show you that one we're going to try and recreate it today um with some blues with the black background absolutely stunning pieces so i've got my two parts mixed i've got some micro bubbles in there i'm not worried about that that's fine what i'm going to do is just quickly spray these and then i'm going to pour into the cavities that i'm, that I'm going to use and then we'll we will we, <laughs> We will begin. Right, I've poured into the cavities that I want to use. We'll move you down. Right. Now, ordinarily, when I, on my usual videos, what we do is we try and fill any negative space um, that's left. On this occasion, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave the negative space. We want the negative space. Um, the reason being is because we want to see that black. So what I'm going to do, I should have dug my colours out first. I'm going to pause the video. Bear with me. Right, so the 26 ink set, I've, I think I've said it in a previous video. What they've done is they've kind of brought some over from the Vibrant set. Um, and obviously the existing concentrated set, the 18 and 22 inks. So it's kind of a combination between the two, but we've lost... Uh, where are they? We've lost the ocean blue, sadly, and we've lost the rose red. So these I'm going to be using today probably, but these are from the 22 ink vibrant set. I'm not sure if that's still um, available on Amazon. If you've got them, you know, use them sparingly. <laughs> right, so we're going to do one of these with all the blues. So we've got our normal blue. We've got the is it azure blue, I think that's pronounced cerulean. Uh, we've got the sapphire blue, and we've got the midnight blue. Uh, midnight blue is a new one. So we're just gonna try and add all of those blues into our resin. Hopefully it will leave us with some negative space. So that was the midnight blue. This is the ocean blue. See, if you haven't got the ocean blue, you don't need it. Just use the blues that we've got. Uh, this is the sapphire blue. And you know, you can't go wrong with these colors. They're, if they touch, they're not gonna, they're not gonna muddy. Now the cerulean is very close to the ocean blue. It's very similar. You can probably see. I think the cerulean is a little bit more green. This is the normal blue. And then last of all, we've got the azure blue. Now we just need to, it would help if I got my sinker white out. So again, as always in this bottle is my Let's Resin sinker white, which is the one labeled Sea Deeper. You get two bottles of this inside the 26 inch set. I just put mine in this for ease of use and it clogs up less so one drop per color ideally and then we're just going to let that do its thing now i'm going to try recreating as well um, a flower or a couple of flowers and we need the negative space for this to work so I think with this one, we're just going to go with the rose red. And then 
we're going to try and build the green up into a stem. Hopefully. <laughs> it's really tricky to get this right. I've done it a few times. And then we just leave the rest. Hopefully they won't touch. <clears throat> they should shrink back um, into their kind of areas so that we can then, when it comes to the stirring stage, draw in our flowers. Now these are these are smaller hearts. They're gonna be a, a little bit more tricky. So we're not gonna go with flowers in these. I'm gonna go with a purple in this one. But we're still gonna aim on having that negative space if we can. And this is the just the normal blue. It's blue and purple in that one. And I think the other one we will go for a peach red. I think peach red I get through the most. And what should we go with? Uh, we'll go with a yellow green. Just hope they don't touch because they can muddy. And again, we just tap these with our white. Again, just one drop. That green is just about to touch that pink. Sorry, my phone is ringing. I had to answer that. Right, let's go with a purplish red. In this one, and I think we'll go with the ocean blue. Oh, actually, I could try another flower in this one. We'll go with the yellow green. Yeah, just because as you know, you could use a lot of black by doing this. Um, that's why ideally I want to be able to buy black alcohol ink on its own. I haven't checked Amazon. I, I think any brand would do really, as long as it's not an opaque. Because we don't want the the bobbly effect that we get. That was red. And that's, where's my yellow? This is a lemon yellow. Pretty sure that's a new one. So you can see the negative space that we want, which is good. Magenta, give this one a whirl. And um, what should we go with that? I'm kind of just making these up as I go along. This is the dark indigo, spreading differently to the other colours. And then lemon yellow. Yellow green. Hopefully that will leave us with some negative space to play around with. Right, I think I'm going to dig out the, um, yeah, I'm going to dig out the Marabou. So this is the Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink. I'm just going to add a couple of drops. Again, everything I use, it's all in my description box. All the links. Marabou can be a bit tricky to get hold of sometimes. Uh, I mean the rainbow alcohol ink can be. Now sometimes the, the Marabou, when you've added that to the back of the piece, it, um, it, can, it can depend, but sometimes it, it changes the spread of the inks. Hasn't really made a difference on that. 
and sometimes it can prevent the inks from spreading, you know, as much. That is the magenta, and I think we're going to go in with an ocean blue. Just a tiny amount if we can in the tip. Like so. Last heart. Let's see there's a hair or something in there. We don't want that in our work. Go okay, with another ocean blue. I might use some more marabou in the other mold. Let's see how I feel. Purplish red. And then the yellow green just at the bottom, if we can. You know, these needle tip bottles are, are so much easier. Because <laughs> when you're using the normal bottle, sometimes they can clog um, and they can kind of drip out really fast. We don't want that. Just a lot easier to control. Let me move my box. Lemon yellow. I'm going to try with some flames on this one. Some red. Similar to my, I think it was my first full video, was the fire, the flame effect. I'll just see how it looks. I haven't tried it with the black background, with the flames. So it'll be a new, kind of new test. Now... Go with some blues and purples. Maybe the dark indigo. Not sure how that will show up with the black. Go with a cerulean. And then I'm going to fill the, another drop with just the purple. And you can see that sprayed into the other piece. can just get a stick in there and pull that out might take a couple of dips or you could just add the same color in over the top you won't really see it anyway should we go for in this one let's go with some more purplish red And go for blue. Let's go with some marabou in this one. Just one drop. I wouldn't recommend going beyond kind of two to three drops in these sizes. That one's enough. As you can see, it's got good coverage. The, the, the rainbow ink goes a long way. That's my second bottle in a year. I really like the ocean blue with the black. So we're going to go in with some more. And now when you use ocean blue and peach red together, you get a really nice colour when they touch. See that? And then we're just going to leave that negative space. <clears throat> I think we'll do that again in one of these hearts. The ocean blue. Maybe I'll try dropping the peach red on top of the ocean blue see what kind of a outcome we get and then our green 
maybe we can get a couple of flowers in this if I remember. Now I will be bringing eventually the bird design for you. I just need a couple more attempts to make sure I get it right. That was the purplish red. Go with some magenta. And again with our green. Just at the bottom. Now you'll see the green kind of spreads up the sides. That that's that's fine because we can kind of use that as like leaves. And then I almost forgot the two small hearts at the top. Ocean blue. Try rose red. I'm going to leave that other side of the heart. Let's go with an orange and yellow. Go with a lemon yellow. Right, oop, two drops of white, won't matter. Obviously, if you've got the new batch of um, Let's Resin, um, check out my previous video where I show how to blend this, um, but you won't need to soon because they are releasing the collaboration resin uh, the original formula so we will be back for the stirring and then adding the black soon see you in a bit we're back for the stirring um let me try and get you a bit closer obviously the time can depend on room temperature but we want that stringy consistency then we know we're kind of good to go. Right, let's start on these. I'm not going to try flowers in these smaller ones. I just stir them. Stir them up. Always clean your stick before you dip. The ones that I think we can do the flowers in are probably this one, this one, this one, that one. I think the others are we're just going to kind of stir and we're going to try the flames in that one. It's not my focus, that'd be an idea. Stringy. Again, thanks to all my subs. If you haven't, it's just there. Sub to the channel. Thanks to my members. This one we're just going to swirl around. There is a slight risk adding the black. I found with some colours, you can get some muddy in. It's not too bad. I think pink was a bad one. Can be. I'm not saying it always will be. You'll kind of have to play around. Right, let's change my focus. We're going to go in with this flower. There's no kind of ideal way of doing this that I've found. Kind of just need to swell. It's really tricky because obviously you can't see the other side. 
you kind of swirl each colour. Then what you can do is bring some of it up to make it look like petals. And then with our green, like I said, it's kind of come up the sides, which is okay. Because they can kind of look like leaves. But what we want to do is kind of bring that green up. And then lift it slightly. So that it doesn't go underneath our colour. Just kind of goes on top of the back. You can come up. can end up looking a bit strange so what we can do is bring that the resin through the green to narrow those the stem see what I've done and hopefully that green will be visible when we uh, when we demold it, there's always that risk <clears throat> that the black might take away that kind of. Let's lock my focus again. The black may take away the green or hide it. Focus. There we go. We could try it on this one, I suppose. No, nah, we're just gonna swell it. <laughs> just gonna swell. We'll try on this one. It's a bit blobby, but we'll see how it comes out. And then again with the green, draw it and then lift slightly. And then again, just to give it some more definition, you can bring that side up there and this side. Sorry, my focus. And then we can draw that down. Like so. We'll come out if we want. Some little fawns. It's all about manipulating the resin. To kind of go where you want it to go. And it might look strange because of that area there, but I'm not that fast. Moving on. The wind's picking up outside. It's been trying to snow the last couple of days here. Straighten it out. I'm going to try and bring some out into this negative space. It's come over dark. All of a sudden. Right now for the flames. Like I said, I've not tried this with a black background. Doesn't matter if you go over the side like I just did. come up in the middle as well I think that'll do 
Now this one here, hopefully we've got like a spacey nebula vibe. Uh, we've got the glitter, which will act to stars. We've got some fluff in there, I think. Or is that just the ink? I think it's just the ink. Kind of just swirl it into the middle. Hopefully that will give us like a, a galaxy style look. You could do some of, you know, like I've shown, the, you know, the torch effect, you could try that. Do lots of different things. Right. It's just a shame that this is kind of touching the mould. It's hugging the mould. You see I'm just swirling around. And then we can bring up and kind of petals and then again with our green just draw it up and then we could go down Just like that. Maybe come just a couple of tiny small fawns. Try not to bulk it out too much. Right, last one. Kind of need to do this upside down as well. You might be able to find, you might find a different method for doing this. I I went a bit too deep with that. It's kind of pulled the pink. Or the rose red, whatever colour it was, I can't remember now. Kind of handy when the green kind of climbs up the side because it's doing us uh, a favour really. It's giving us less work. Kind of want these narrowed out a bit more. Maybe point them up. Just like that. This one's not quite touching. I think I've kind of ruined that one. We'll see. Right now for the black. Like I said, you know, don't go in. Well, I didn't say it, but whatever you do, don't go in, you know, doing a whole batch like this without testing first because you're going to waste all of your black. I probably won't film the whole lot because you know you can just see I'll probably show these two hearts here um, just covering as much as I can of the negative space but what can happen with brighter colours is that if I left it like this you'll kind of see through um, when we demold you'll see the, the blobs of black so with brighter colours you kind of need to cover especially with greens and yellows you need to cover the whole piece um, pinks can show through as well but the darker colors are okay you're just dabbing it it's touching the resin just a, a tiny amount but not it's not going to make a difference just clean the nib and then just see how that spreads out over say 10 minutes but yeah don't go wasting all of your black give it a small try to begin with maybe try one of the flowers um, with this, the purple, darker, it's darker colour, the, the black won't show as patchy, but with the blue, it, it potentially could. 
and I found you know you might be thinking oh you know you're adding too much ink to that it's not going to cure I've had no issues absolutely no issues as long as you don't go pouring a whole bottle on I've had zero issues of curing doing this um, obviously you just wait your normal 24 hours to demold you can see that left one is kind of the black spread out on its on its own it's kind of little tiny little gaps that we can just go around and just cover right so I'm going to continue because this is going to be um, quite time consuming and we will see you for the demold see you soon right all set let's see what we've got we we'll start with the smaller hearts hopefully the black there you go there's always a worry sometimes that the the sinker hasn't pushed the color down enough in time you could always wait maybe another say 20 minutes after stirring just to allow that sinker to have have worked that's how I think it's it works anyway um, just have a play see it hasn't shown much through on that one almost looks like a bird it's pretty cool Yeah, like I said, just do a test run with maybe one piece. So there's not much detail in this one, but it's still cool. Ah, uh, yeah, you see what I said about the pink? It can, when you add the black, so maybe wait another 20 minutes after stirring, you can get that mud in. Hope it hasn't shown on the other ones. It has there, you can see. That's because the um the ink probably hasn't dried enough for the black. Oh wow. Got the two flowers. I could have dragged that stem up a little bit more. Hopefully this blue one, this was all blues. Ah, oh, there you go. So this is the one that I, no, not that one. Where's it gone? It's very similar. If anything, this one looks more like a, like a blue phoenix. Very similar. And you know, you can't, you can't make the exact same piece again. You can get the effect and a similar stir, but there we go. Tiny, tiny bit of muddying, but it's barely noticeable. Got the two flowers there. Oh, that is the risk with, I think it's going to be any kind of color that, that's like pink, pinks, purples, reds, possibly. It's really hit and miss. So it's fine in this one. You'll need to look back as to what colours I've used, but definitely the, the pink's kind of muddy. You got it there. But you know it doesn't doesn't look too bad in this one. Looks more like a like a nebula cloud. See, unless you knew your inks, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that that's muddy. You just think that that was a colour. Again, a little bit around there. Could have done with. Uh, some more kind of leaves maybe still pretty cool right the fire let's see how this turned out not bad 
bit more color maybe a bit less negative space that way the black would have shown through you see it showing through the actual effect it kind of looks like a flower up there as well last one again if you haven't subbed hit that sub button drop me a comment and a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video wow see I like the stillness as well probably two of my favorites right guys that is me done see you for the next one bye for now